you've seen AFC Fylde go through the leagues and you've seen some amazing some amazing highs. Two trips to Wembley in a week, what, what does that rank among us, what you've achieved? Uh, well, it obviously uh, it ranks right up there, doesn't it? Um, it's, uh, I, think, uh, I think I'm still uh, uh, <laughs> going to wake up in the middle of the night at the moment. I don't think it's really sunk in. I mean, uh, w you know, I think what was great today and not that I've said to a few people is that ever since Dave Challoner came to this club, uh, we had a philosophy about playing football and uh, we were always going to try and play the game the way it should be played and I think that in the end today that won and that was a, that was great you know I think for football as well as us getting to, to Wembley we try to play the game properly I'm looking at our lads getting on that bus uh, you know and it's that they've been uh, you know 10 rounds with Mike Tyson not to a football game uh, and, and, and you know we, we try to play and we, we've got there playing football and uh, you know we've got two chances now the most important without a doubt is next Saturday uh, and, and that's we're 90 minutes from uh, you know we put on those sleeves 10 years 12 years ago 2022 uh, quite happy if we do it in 2019 of course uh, but uh, we've got a chance now and we know we're a very good team uh, I've just talked to the lads that we haven't got any injuries so you know we're going to be at full strength and that's all you can ask for uh, going to Wembley and God we've got a lot to do in a week <laughs> <laughs> in terms of the game today, obviously you've been uh, watching on biting your nails. I think because everyone was, uh, how did you how did you see it unfold from your perspective? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, look, look, we knew everybody knew coming here how Solihull play, and and it's been very successful for Solihull. Listen, they finished second in the league. You know, they are big, strong, physical side. Uh, so so you know you're going to get bombarded. I mean, Eric sat behind me. You know, one of our, you know, one of one of the old guys, and he he quietly sort of called it really because every time they had a throw in, he called line out, and it was a bit like rugby in many ways, you know, that way. So, you know what you're going to get here. Uh, we we came here last, 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 you know, early in the season and, and beat them two one and, and and fairly so. Uh, they'll be this. I've just heard their captain uh, Liam Daly. You know, he's a good player. I've heard him. He said he couldn't believe how they didn't get the ball in the net. Uh, but really they didn't actually have a lot of clear-cut chances I mean our, our lads defended really really well so it, it, it was nail-biting you know you know you had six minutes at the end uh, after the injury uh, I, I can't believe that player never got sent off for that uh, but uh, look we're on the bus everyone's uh, fine a few stitches a few bruises but uh, you know we're going to Wembley in a week's time how we're we going to get ready for that I'll never know uh, you know, we're, we're, how, how our fans can afford to go twice? We haven't, as everybody knows, we haven't got a lot of fans to start with. <laughs> Maybe if there's anybody watching and want to come and support file from other clubs, we'd be really grateful. Uh, we're going to need all the support we can get, but uh, you know, it's going to be great. And whoever we play, Salford or uh, or, or Eastleigh, uh, one thing, you know, Wembley's a big pitch. It's going to be a fantastic surface, and that's going to suit our game, how we how we play. Just one final note on the fans today. You travelled down in their numbers, and I thought were brilliant today. Um, it must be you must swell with pride watching that. You know, having yeah. put the club together and then yeah, risen. Yeah, I mean, that, look, look, a club's a club. It, it's nothing without fans, as I've said many a time. And and you know, it's a bit of a, <coughs> a bit of a touchy subject with me because uh, you know we're always uh, being slaughtered for having no fans and not being a real club and a plastic club. And I got a bit emotional about that at the at the awards uh, because I, I think it's unfair criticism. But uh, you know, you you can't create something, um, you can't make it happen. It has to happen. Uh, on its own and you know today I thought uh, you know I thought Stockport away kind of started uh, I thought we were great at Salford uh, and they've come down today you know th those watching will probably say well you should have had you know 3,000 but you know for us to get those fans today and then to, to, to sort of create that atmosphere I know it's fantastic for everybody with the club it really is and uh, they're going to have a fantastic day two days <laughs> out at Wembley over the next few weeks aren't they so it's going to be great